big part of that was Stephen Smith, an outstanding 94. Not the easiest batting conditions, but so close to 100. And he's got the cans on to talk to us now. Steve, congratulations. Thank you. Does it feel like the old days, the way you're batting at the moment? Uh, well, that wicket felt like the old days in everything, every sense of the word in one day cricket. Um, it was quite slow, a bit of reverse swing. It felt like there was only one ball out there like the, back in the old days. So, uh, no, nah, look, I feel like I'm batting well. Um, yeah, I, I would have, I felt like I hit the spinner, uh, the spinner to the, the fielder a few few times too many. But, um, no, nah, we had to take it pretty deep. It would have been tough to start for the new batter. And, um, yeah, we, we were able to do that with, with our partnership with Bison and, and Manus in the middle. Uh, Smudge, 80 not out, mate, and then 94 today. So only one dismissal in the two games. Do you want to run us through your dismissal today on 94? You, Knowing you pretty well, um, I dare say you'd be a little disappointed with the shot. Uh, not really. I think it was there to hit, to be yeah. honest with you. Um, I think it just spun a little bit and, and stuck in the wicket. And that ball's pretty soft, to be fair. Um, so it was just tough to get over the fence. So, no, I'd probably, looking back, I reflect all the time, I'd probably play the same shot again. Um, hopefully I'd hit it for six next time, though. Yes, yeah, much. Very well played uh, in Adelaide. And then, of course, today, it looked like old-fashioned one-day cricket because of the square, you know, the... Of course, the Poms were throwing it in. The ball was getting soft, but uh, add a bit of spin and also a bit of reverse swing as well. Yeah, it was. Like, like I said at the start, it felt um, old school in every sense of the word. Um, it, it felt like it was back to the one ball and uh, the ball was reversing. The wicket was pretty slow and, um, yeah, there wasn't probably as many boundaries hit as we, um, we'd normally see here at the SCG. So a uh, very abrasive square, a lot of reverse swing. Um, the ball spun a bit. So, um, yeah, it was kind of like a grinding court, uh, sort of wicket. And, um, yeah, fortunately we did it better than England today. Uh, and the thoughts out in the middle, Smudge, when they were three from one, five, six at one stage, they were going quite well. Um, you know, any major concerns at that time? Or would you always feel like that it was going to be tough for them towards the end? Uh, I, I, it was always going to get harder, um, that's for sure. I think the ball was probably going to get uh, a bit softer, reversing a bit more, and um, we thought if we get a wicket, it was going to be tough to start against. So um, we had to break that partnership. Obviously, I thought Vinny and, um, and Bilbo played really nicely. So we, once we got through that partnership and, and got rid of Mo as well, who's, who's obviously dangerous, um, you know, it sort of opened things up a little bit for us. And Smudger, just a word on your strike bowlers today. Mitchell Stark looks like he's bowling beautifully again. Nice rhythm. And Adam Zampa just keeps taking wickets for you guys through the middle overs. Yeah, those two guys were exceptional tonight. I thought Starkey started really well. He was swinging that um, the white ball nice and late. Um, got a few early breakthroughs for us, which were handy. And then Zorba's obviously been outstanding for, for a few years now. He's um, getting better and better and um, did a terrific job for us through the middle there. Nice to be able to talk to you and nice to see you bat like this again. Well done, Steve. Thank you.